Let's discuss indoor gardening toolkit essentials. What do you need and what don't you? There are a few tools that will save you time and money in the long run, but also some popular ones that you can avoid spending money on. Let's grow. Hi, I'm Elisha from Urban Leaf, where we help city dwellers reconnect with nature and grow their own food. If that sounds interesting to you, then you know what to do. Like and subscribe. If you're just getting started in indoor gardening or you're working on expanding your garden, you may be thinking about adding some more tools to your collection. A few strategic purchases can really increase your growing capacity, whether you're growing edible herbs and veggies for food or just ornamental houseplants. Having these few items will help you be more productive and ultimately get the most out of your gardening journey. First things first, every serious gardener needs some kind of blade, and you can only get away with using a knife or scissors for so long. A dedicated pair of pruning shears is going to save you in time and plant health in the long run. Bypass shears are much better for all around gardening tasks, and especially for indoor gardeners. If you're really just making small precision cuts, I would consider going with needle nose or straight blade shears. But for heavier work, you'll want a curved blade like that, which you'll find with bypass shears. Here's a pro tip for you. Dish out a few extra bucks in the name of quality, and you're going to save your hands from pain and also the cost of replacing cheap shears when they inevitably break after a few months of heavy use. We all know how water and light play a big role in plant health, but temperature and humidity can also be crucial for optimal growth. While temperature and humidity are variables that most people find a lot harder or at least more tedious to control, you should still make sure that you're in the optimal range. And it's pretty cheap to do so. These nifty little thermometer hygrometer sensors can be placed just about anywhere. And then you can just casually check in on them to make sure that you have the right climate for your plants. Or if you have to tweak anything like adding more ventilation or even a humidifier for tropical plants. An honorable mention here on the topic of cheap but super effective electronic gadgets has to go out to outlet timers. You've probably already heard of these if you're into indoor gardening, but if you're doing any sort of light supplementation, these are basically indispensable tools. Relatively cheap, you can't really escape needing these guys for serious indoor gardening, and they come in super handy. Some plants have evolved to grow up into other plants and thus don't have the ability to support themselves. In this case, these plants are going to need some form of support in the form of either trellises or stakes. Now, you can usually get these sorts of stakes at a pretty low price. Bamboo stakes are another popular option, but chopsticks are also a decent option for smaller plants. And if you have to make trellises, they can usually be made by just tying off twine or another sort of string between two points. Okay, for this next one, I'm going to be a little bit of a hypocrite because I don't actually own or use one of these. But repotting tarps can be super useful for indoor gardening. If you don't have an outdoor space to do your dirty work, repotting tarps may clean up a whole lot easier. Designed for convenience, these tarps either roll up or fold up for easy storage. I've really only heard good things from people who use these, although I would only buy one if I knew I needed it or would get a lot of use out of it because it's a lot of plastic to be using for the sake of saving a minute or two on cleanup time. Spray bottles are another handy tool for everything from starting seedlings, misting plants, watering, and cleaning. These ones have an adjustable nozzle so you can go from a fine mist to a water gun kind of squirt. They make nice glass ones as well if you don't like the aesthetic of a janitor's closet. Another honorable mention here has to go out to giant plastic syringes. They're super useful for precise liquid measurements like for liquid fertilizers and hydroponic nutrients, but you can also use them for precision watering or if you really run a tight ship with your plant's feeding regimen. The last item on my list isn't as much of a tool as it is a general gardening material. But regardless, I'm considering it a tool because it's going to help you get more out of the work that you put into your garden. And that would be a quality granular fertilizer. Having something easy and simple like a Job's or a Joyful Dirt is going to make it a lot more likely that you're going to actually fertilize your plants as regularly as you should for optimal growth. Being able to easily grab a fertilizer and work it into your regular plant care routine is a quick way to get happier plants and better results. If you guys have any questions or items you think should or shouldn't have been on this list, 
please let us know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe for more interesting indoor gardening content. And as always, keep on growing.